Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sunkara. Friends, you all know, till recently, before Nirbhaya Act, the, according to Juvenile Justice Act, so a minor can be convicted to a maximum punishment of three years only. But lot many people will have disputes regarding the minority, whether he has completed the age of 18 years or not, all these things will be in dispute, of course. That's why already I told you, the law comes to the rescue of the persons who act immediately, who are vigilant. So in that vigilant bus, stand bus, I told you, law comes to the rescue of the persons who are active, but not the some, some slumberers, right? Here, a minor, actually he claims to be a minor and he was involved in a rape and murder case. So rape and murder of a four year or minor girl case. A person was convicted for the rape and murder of a minor girl. And please remember, he was incarcerated or he was put in jail for 19 years. So actually he was convicted for death sentence because rape and murder of a minor girl, it is uh, deemed to be one of the rarest of rare cases. We all know that. Therefore, he was convicted for death sentence. Right. So, he was in jail. Very recently, actually, when the government, uh, whatever it is, actually, two judges bench, Indira Banerji and uh, V. Ram Subramanyam. So, they came to know that he was a juvenile at the time of committing the offence, but due to the erroneous recording, he was made a major. So, even though he was a minor at the time of the commission of offence, then he was treated as a major and he has been incarcerated. Of course, the government says that he did not claim that he was a minor even at the time of so-called appeal and other things. But please remember. If it is known that he was a minor at the time of committing the offence, as per the ex post facto laws, so he has to be given only three years punishment and he has to be released. So this is what happened. So even though JJ Act, that is a Juvenile Justice Act, Care and Protection of Children Act 2000, says that if he is aged more than 16 and eight, between 16 and 18 years, yes, a stricter view can be taken. But this is in the year, so way back, uh, 19 years, 16 years back, at that time, only three years punishment was there. So therefore, since he has completed three years, very recently I am coming to know that uh, he is a minor. As per the record, please remember, they actually, when he claimed that he was a minor, after the appeal stage, actually he uh, put some product, pardon petition. In that, he said he was a minor. So, the matter was referred to the Juvenile Justice Board. The Juvenile Justice Board, in 2014, they have given a report that he was a juvenile at the time of offence. But he was convicted under Section 302 and 376 IPC, which is one of the rarest of rare cases. So, he was facing the death sentence. Actually, he has approached the Honorable President of India for showing mercy upon him or pardoning. Just now I told you the pardoning. So, Article 72 of the Constitution of India deals with uh, the pardoning powers of the President of India. Of course, it was not allowed by that particular time. But when the time is dragged on, very recently it has come to light or it has come to the notice of the Honorable Supreme Court of India and Supreme Court of India having produced the records then they came to the conclusion that he was a minor at the time of committing offences. So, if he is a minor at the time of committing offence and that too before 2014, definitely he has to be given maximum punishment of only 3 years, not more than that. Already he has suffered 19 years or over, he has suffered more than 16 years of incarceration or languishing in jail. So, pitied with this, of course, they could not find fault with the government of machinery also because uh, he did not claim as a minor at the earliest possible time. He claimed only in the later stage. So, therefore, ultimately, so the result, the end result is that Honorable 
two judges bench, Madam Indra Banerjee and B. Ram Subramanyam, they were considerate, or they were uh, considerate, and they were kind enough uh, to release him from the gallows. Very good judgment. Please know this. This is an important issue. So, ex post for like uh, post fact laws, you have to know. Tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I am making that a Bilkis Banu's case. In that case also, ex post for likes are definitely they play a major part because the policy of 1992 of Gujarat. And uh, policy of 2014, they were in a clash. Of course, we will discuss in that video. Right? For the present, it is sufficient. Thank you.